and uh, in that 10 minutes, I usually usually dry heave, puke. Uh, you know, just the nerves of that waiting, that anticipation of. I think it's half knowing like this is about to really hurt. Um, like I'm gonna, I'm about to push myself to a level that's not enjoyable. Um, but then also like the fear. I'm, I'm always so scared going out of the competition floor, you know, uh, thinking all these guys are more capable than me. Like, what if things don't go right? Uh, just being really scared, you know? All these guys have trained all year to win. No one's showing up trying to win second place. Everyone's there to try to get first place. So, it's, that's pretty nerve wracking to me. I don't want that fear to go away. Um, I mean, like, I hate it. It's a very unenjoyable feeling, but at the same time, it's like, when I'm scared that I'm not capable on a workout, you know, I really focus, you know, I really, I know, like, all right, there is no room for error. There is no room for slacking off anything. So anytime, anytime I have that fear, you know, I'm, I'm willing to go to a darker place to make up for that, for that being uncomfortable or not feeling confident in that movement. Um, perfect example, I mean, regionals Nate. Uh, was that, that was the 2016 season. You know, that workout, I was petrified of that workout. You know, when I did it in training, I, I got uh, eight, eight rounds plus something out of a 10 round workout. I wasn't even close to finishing it. And, um, you know, you see all the videos of guys online, you know, pumping out sets of 10 strict muscle ups with a weight vest. And it's like, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Like this workout could derail me. So I'm going into that workout just like absolutely petrified. And then, and then I ended up doing well. You know, I ended up, uh, I think I won the workout in my region. You know, it was like, I didn't let my mind wander for a second. I didn't care how much anything hurt during that workout. I was like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can't afford to slack off even for a second. So it's like, just keep pounding. And then there was other workouts where I was so comfortable, so lax going into it. As soon as something started to hurt a little bit, I was like, oh, I'll just back off a little bit, you know, let this pain go away. And then I pull a 10th place in the workout. And it's like, what the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen. Um, so it's, part of it is like, I don't want to get rid of that fear. You know, it really pushes me to strive for excellence. And then on the other end of things, like when I am feeling comfortable, like not letting that affect my performance, not letting that, that comfort creep in and, you know, make me slack off. I'm getting all anxious right now. <laughs> <laughs> When you're coming out of your third day of training and nothing's going right and like everything's feeling bad and and then usually on top of it that's when it seems like everything is going perfectly for everyone else so it's like you just sit there you're like oh man like what's happening right now like this is this is my job this is my full-time job and i'm not doing well at it like <laughs> this isn't good um but you know it's those moments that you know you have to I don't want to say like trust the process, but you know, like stay on your grind. Uh, it's like, all right, well, things aren't going well. Make them go well, you know, like why are they not going well? Is it, I'm not getting enough sleep? Is my diet a little bit off? You know, am I traveling too much? Like, like you're in control of those things. Make the changes. Um, and I mean, when, when I'm going on like week four of, you know, I'm just staying home. The only person I'm seeing throughout the day is my girlfriend. Uh, it's not like I have friends dropping in from out of town to train. It's not like camera crews are around all the time. 99% of the time, I'm in this room alone. Uh, no one there to, you know, slap me on, on the ass and tell me good job. Like, nice PR. It's no. It's, it's me telling myself, get the fuck back on that treadmill. Get back on that row or start squatting again. You know, anytime I'm... 
sitting in between training sessions, like just messing around on my phone. It's me telling myself like, put down your phone and get back to training. Like you could be doing something productive right now. Like why are you just sitting here <laughs> looking at looking at Instagram? Like put your phone down, go stretch, be productive. You know, better yourself instead of resting on your laurels. Um, yeah, I mean that that's the stuff that. I mean, no one wants to see that. It's not exciting. Uh, it's not exciting to like walk into the gym and see me sitting on the platform stretching for the third hour straight. Like, who cares? But I mean, that's what goes into it behind the scenes. You know, I, I think I think before it happened, I never really thought too much of what it would be like or what it should be like, anything like that. Um, and all, all the changes kind of happened in little progressions. You know, it wasn't just like an all of a sudden, like light switch type change of like, this is your life now. Um, and you know, I kind of, I have to remind myself a lot of times too, of like, you know, people, people see the highlight reel. Um, it's very rare that someone, someone will post or like show the world the non-glamorous stuff, like the stuff that isn't sexy. Um, the only posts that go up are the the videos of PRs going up and the videos of when things are going well and when things are looking good. It's no one posts up the video of like, oh man, you know, I have all these tears on my hands and I'm missing 245 snatches over here and like, <laughs> no one wants to see that shit. Uh, you know, I, I get a lot of messages, you know, like people see the footage of the games, you know, see the footage of the 2016 games. And they're like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, you're looking at a five day window of my entire year. Like that is just like a flash in the pan. 